the water is not just evaporating, it's slowly oozing south. Four months after the last serious rain, the Pantanal is still releasing water into a network of mighty rivers. The largest of these survive even the driest months of the year, creating an ever-reliable reservoir of food as well as water. Few people live permanently in the Pantanal. Along with the cowboys, there are small communities of fishermen who ply the rivers year-round. Gonzaga is setting out in search of monsters. These rivers hold giants in their depths, but catching them is no easy feat. The Pantanal is a haven for one of Gonzaga's biggest rivals, the giant river Otter. Nearly two meters long and weighing over 30 kilos, it fully merits its name. Unlike most otters, giant otters live in groups and hunt in packs, earning their nickname, River Wolves. In open water, their targets have room to maneuver. Even working together, the otters miss more than they hit. But closer to the water hyacinth at the river's edge, the otters soon get lucky. They may hunt together, but they eat alone. They're voracious feeders, devouring up to five kilos a day. Anything from fish and birds to anacondas and even caiman. Gonzaga, too, is homing in on the water hyacinths. He's careful to stay away from the riverbank. When he was younger, Gonzaga watched as his brother was attacked by a hungry jaguar. He was lucky to escape with his life. Gonzaga works fast, soon filling his boat with lungfish and other species. But they're just bait for the giant he's after. <laughs> 